Afternoon YouTube. Digital Adele here, back with another Fortnite gameplay for you. I'm running with Justin today. Now, Justin typically plays on Nintendo Switch, and let's just say when he wants to, he's a very good teammate. This has always been from the beginning. When he wants to, he can be a very good teammate. Um, but recently, he's gotten a lot better. And that's evident by this gameplay. He was a good teammate, and in firefights, he helped out quite a bit. As you'll see in the beginning of this. Now, there's some exciting things happening with this channel. Um, just to give you a little insight, a little um, peek into my vision here. Now, what you're about to witness is me missing a million shots with the hammer. I don't use it very often. I'm not very good with it. So, <laughs> never mind that. But, um, yeah, I started getting shot from behind by that guy's teammate. I could hear him parachuting in. And Justin provided a necessary cover and got the kill. In fact, he's actually out killing me in this round. So, my channel, right? I'm not a sweat. I know some sweats. Most sweats are kids. Most sweats are adults that pour hours and hours and hours into Fortnite. Now, I've poured my fair share of time into Fortnite. I'm getting better. But, you know, I'm just older, and I didn't play a lot of FPS games growing up, just a few, like Halo, and, you know, I played a lot more sports games, like Madden, I like adventures, like, things, games that have good stories, you know, like God of War, and, you know, uh, Metal Gear Solid, it's not an FPS, and it's more of a thinking game, so, those were my kind of games growing up. I've gotten into FPS a lot more lately, and, you know, I played Call of Duty here and there, you know, I did these things, but I, FPS wasn't my main genre of gameplay, so I'm really not that, you know, I don't have a lot of muscle memory build up from childhood on those things. So a lot of the people I play with, <clears throat> those people play FPS a lot, and a lot of them are younger people. And that's what I want this channel to be about. I want this channel to be about the young people. I want to give the young people a platform where if they're going to play games, they're going to be able to learn some things from us, the next generation, and they're going to be able to teach us some stuff about the younger generation. They'll have a place to play and display their gameplay, and just a cool, safe space to hang out. Like My channel is never going to be toxic. If you're looking for toxicity and negativity that's not this channel but there are some really really amazing players that you may not even that you may know and so that's what this channel is going to be really about me having fun with some, some really really good players you know playing you know above above my actual skill level um but you know it's fun, it's those moments. So the exciting things coming to the channel is we're working on live streaming. You know, I build gaming PCs. It's what I do. I've done for a number of years. Um, but I don't plan on building one for this. They're, you know, they're super expensive. And why, why build a $2,000 gaming PC when I could do it all from the Xbox for, you know, one third of that price. And the reason why I want to do this, I want to show it as proof of concept for any of the young people or any of the young adults out there that want to do a gaming channel, that it can be done and it can be done in an affordable way. And if it's something that you're going to pour a lot of time and effort into, why not make it into something that you can potentially showcase on a platform like YouTube? So Digital Adele, um, the channel is going to be more than just me and a lot of these gameplays are going to feature my friends you know like Hank um, Blacksmith Prime, Jadamian and a lot of the young people 
that I've come to know through Fortnite from their families. And it's just made us all a closer knit community. And that's what I want Digital Adele Gaming to be about. That family, fun, friends, close connected atmosphere. So I can't wait to get the live stream going, likely you know, next month sometime. I'm gonna be very, very busy. Hopefully, you know, I have some exciting news coming about my new office that I, that I plan on having. Uh, that should be coming here next month. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do some sort of video on the new office once I get it all set up and running. Um, I'm still debating on a face cam or not. I'm not really a big fan of those. Um, I know people like them. I know it helps certain channels, but I've also seen it done without face cams, so. You know, I'm just weighing those options because I got a lot of stuff going on. I got my own family, you know, I got pets, you know, they come into the channel. I know people like pets, so maybe that would be a hit on the channel, who knows. But it's still just something that I'm thinking about, so keep that in mind. Now, this gameplay, as you can tell, Justin stepped it up, you know. He's got three kills, I got four on board, so... Um, it's it's a nice game. Collapse the circle too, and I get another knock from that team uh, you know, fighting that other team. So we're a little, just a little third party going on here. <laughs> um, that guy's gonna die in a storm. I know. I hit him a couple of times. He was weak. He's gonna try to revive him. His teammate got knocked. He got eliminated in the back of the lobby. So now he's scrambling to try to make it out of school. Again, remember, it's only the flap circle too, so storm's still, I mean, circle's still fairly large. This rave cave rotation <clears throat> was pretty, it turned out to be a good one. But the storm pulled far away from us again, so we decided to push away to this gas station and take this high ground. So the debate between me and Justin at this point is this is going to be out of circle. With this little landing right there, you know, Star Wars people can't, you know, Darth Vader can land. It's going to be in. But I say take the highest high ground as the circle is collapsing and then we can work our way in. You can see right there me and Justin are sharing ammo, switching weapons. He found a sniper, so I gave him my DMR, he gave me the sniper. And that's just good, solid teamwork. And that goes back to what I was saying about anytime you're on a team, if it's a sport, oh, the boulder play. <laughs> Hit that guy right in the head with the boulder. I love doing that. But anytime you're on a team, teamwork, good gameplay, good communication, you know, working together, it's, the, it's vital for wins. As I mentioned, I'm not a, you know, the greatest Fortnite player. I don't claim to be. But I'm a great leader. I know I'm a great leader. And I'm a great teammate. Most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes my ADD gets the best of me and I freak out a little bit. But <laughs> other than that, <laughs> uh, I'm generally a great teammate. So we decide to take again this high ground. Uh, we're gonna break this table here so we can have this full spot to move. And uh, Justin's just gonna, you know, make that his home down there for a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're in great position. If you take a look in the bottom right, this collapse the circle four. Uh, we're right at the edge of zone. You never want to be the meat of the sandwich. You always want to be the bread. There's, uh, you know, several, several, um, you know, YouTubers that. I followed throughout my life, Jack Frags, uh, Westy, Broken Machines, all those guys that play Warzone, you know, they have so much experience with, you know, competitive gameplay that uh, I've learned a lot from them, and I try to do that in all aspects of my life, is to learn from others, and so I don't make the mistakes that they had to go through, and so there's nothing wrong with learning from other people. Don't ever be afraid to take something from other people that is a smart and good idea and a great way to do things and make it your own because that's the only way you're going to get better 
there's a, the old saying, there's nothing new under the sun. As you can see, there are some people here. So we are scrapping four other people left, two other teams. Justin is <laughs> Justin is just having a great time being an arsonist, just burning everything down. Now, I see that person down. I knew there was a guy behind a log. I eat some shots, but again, the trusty shield fish gets me right back up to full shield. And we spot the guy that was dinking me earlier. I missed the snipe on him, but just you wait, buddy. Just you wait. Now, I wanted to make sure there was nobody uh, flanking us, because we still have one team unaccounted for. And as you can see, the zone's pushing us, so we gotta move. And I knew everybody was kind of centrally in front of us, but... So I wanted to try to take one of these buildings on the edge of zone here. And... Pick up some more heals since I used my fish. And we're able to get on this roof and make a new base. So again, I'm not a great builder, but... I can use objects around me to get some height and then build from there. And yes, I know, I trapped Justin in my build, but he can edit, so... <laughs> He's able to get out of that and take a position up on the roof with me here. Ah, there's the other sneaky person that I saw before. Down they go. That was a headshot snipe. Probably about 100, what was that, 80, 80 to 100 meters out. So it wasn't long range, but it was a headshot. Alright. Send that person right back to lobby. Six kills on board, 11 overall, Justin holding his own. We only have one guy left. It's a 2v1. So we're trying to just get centrally into the circle. Again, I cone myself. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Because <laughs> I was doing a pretty good job of building up until that point. And then I cone myself. Now, I'm looking for this guy. You probably shouldn't use a sniper in these close ranges situations, but I love to do it. You got to do it for the clips. Do it for the clips. <laughs> so... I'm always jump peeking, looking for an opportunity to land a, a, you know, a super sick snipe at the end. Justin decides to try to re repay the favor and blocks me <laughs> with his build, so it's all good. The only place this guy could be is below us. And as you see me jumping around, I looked inside that building. I couldn't see him there either, so we decided to get some more height. I have no idea where this guy is. Justin's shooting the rock to try to break the rock. We just can't find the guy. Now, based on this behavior, one would assume this guy is not a builder. But uh, as soon as I drop down here, you see getting shot at. I'm getting shot at. I hit him a little bit, but then he starts building. I go in after him, but he's gone. He Houdinis it. He, this person is actually a little bit of a builder. And then I get stuck. And then I get stuck again. <laughs> and Justin gets him. With the shotgun. Getting the swifty. The 12 kill duo win awesome job if you uh, like this sort of content give it a like subscribe for more be on the lookout for our v buck contest coming soon can't wait to tell you about that again stay safe take care and ggs